Greetings, everyone. I'm Carlos Del Toro, Secretary of the Navy, and I am honored, deeply honored, to be here today at Montford Point, North Carolina, sacred ground for our Marine Corps and our nation. It was here back in 1942 that the first African Americans earned the Eagle, Globe, and Anchor of the United States Marine Corps. They journeyed from all corners of our nation to Montford Point to brave segregated conditions and intense Marine training to answer the call of duty. Many would go on to make the ultimate sacrifice in bloody battles at Saipan, Iwo Jima, and Okinawa. Some of those first African-American Marines, like Sergeant Major Gilbert Hashmark Johnson, would rise to the highest levels of enlisted leadership. And we can't forget about the early African-Americans who served with distinction in our Navy. Sailors like Petty Officer Dory Miller, who famously rose to the occasion during the attack on Pearl Harbor in 1941. These sailors and Marines broke barriers and paved the way for countless others that followed with lasting legacies that still shape our force today. Leaders like Vice Admiral Samuel Gravely, the first African-American to command a U.S. Navy ship, the first to become a flag officer and the first fleet commander. Or Lieutenant General Frank Peterson, the first African-American pilot in the United States Marines. This Black History Month, we remember those who served our country, even though they were at times treated unfairly or unjust. We must honor the service of the Tuskegee Airmen, like General Charles McGee, who passed away just last month at 102 years old. We must take inspiration from Harriet, Ida, Pickens, and Francis Eliza Wills, the first African-American women commissioned as naval officers. And we must also remember African-American Civil War heroes like Robert Smalls, who escaped slavery by commandeering a Confederate transport and delivering it to Union lines. I recently visited Robert Smalls' house when I was in South Carolina to attend the Marine Corps boot camp graduation at Paris Island. There is an unbroken line of valor, honor, and service extending from Robert Smalls to the Montford Point Marines to that diverse class of new Marines at Paris Island. Today, there are over 20,000 African-American Marines, over 62,000 African-American sailors, and over 30,000 African-American civilians in our Department of the Navy. I am grateful to each of you and your families for your service and dedication to our nation. I'm determined to make sure that we continue to provide opportunities for all of our sailors, Marines, and civilians to advance and grow without barriers or discrimination. And I'm deeply committed to understanding and responding to the needs of all of our military families. It all starts with a culture of warfighting excellence where everyone treats each other with dignity and with respect. To meet tomorrow's challenges, we must continually recruit, retain, mentor, and promote the very best that all of America has to offer. That's why we have been reaching out across the entire department through efforts like Task Force One Navy to understand what is working and where we perhaps fall short. We are looking at areas of underrepresentation in military and civilian occupations and finding ways to build diversity, equity, and inclusion efforts into our Navy and our Marine Corps culture. The Marine Corps Talent Management 2030 charts a new course for Marine personnel system, maximizing the individual strengths of every Marine and implementing policies to build equity across the Corps. We're expanding recruiting efforts like at our Junior Officer Diversity Outreach Program to build better networks in diverse and underrepresented communities as well. Building on the diversity, equity, and inclusion guidance that I sent out in November, I have instructed selection boards to be mindful of the importance of diverse leadership at every level across the department. We are working to address the effects of past discrimination, building on previous efforts like successful drive to secure the Congressional Gold Medal for the Montford Point Marines. Each of us has a role to play in forging a more diverse, equitable, and inclusive force to improve the combat readiness of our Navy and our Marine Corps. I ask all to seek out opportunities to mentor and train others. Speak up in the face of discrimination and extremism. Take action on behalf of your fellow sailors, your Marines, and civilians. Keep the conversations going. Tell your story and listen to the stories of others as well. And always remember those who served before you, like the brave Montford Point Marines who trained here to defend liberty and justice for all. Thank you, and may God bless each of you, and may God bless America.